Traditional radiation therapy attacks more than cancer. Because surrounding healthy tissue gets hit too, treatment-related side effects have become just another challenge for cancer patients. Fortunately, newer, more precise technology is now available. It's called tomotherapy. Using advanced imaging and radiation delivery capabilities, tomotherapy targets cancer like never before. Learn more about today's cancer treatment options at Gamma West Cancer Services in St. George, Utah. I'm with uh, head coach Jerry back of the Desert Hill Thunder. Man, coach, you guys in Pineview had just one whale of a ball game just now. Maybe tell me uh, right off the bat your thoughts on the way that thing finished up. Pressure packed, you know, and uh, one that you're going to lose a few hairs on. And But uh, there's nothing funner than those kind of games this time of year in the state tournament. And, uh, you know, i, I got to give Pineview a lot of credit. You know, they just have kept getting better and better all year, and they gave us all we wanted today and wouldn't surprise me to – to see him come back through and, and still make some noise in this tournament. Will you talk about Dylan File a minute? I mean, here he is, your senior. Uh, maybe didn't have his best stuff on the mound, but he comes out and, and helps himself out by hitting that solo home run that ended up being the difference in the game. Yeah, I mean, he just basically put the team on his back today with a big home run and, uh, and the seven solid innings. And what, what more can you ask out of a kid? I mean, he gave us everything he had today. I couldn't be more proud of him. You guys struggled a little bit at the plate against Donovan. Obviously, he's a great pitcher, but uh, but only have four hits. Uh, good thing you were very economical. Only left a couple of guys on base, huh? Right. I mean, we just we had to take advantage of what we could get, and uh, we were able to you know move some guys over, steal some bags, and, and take advantage of some pass balls. And I mean, you just kind of scrape and claw and, and try to get whatever you can off a kid like that, and and hope for the best at the end. And unfortunately for us, it worked out today. This is kind of a softball question, but how important, obviously, is it to stay in that winner's bracket for you guys? Yeah, it's huge. You know, I mean, to only have to play one game today and then one one tomorrow and uh, be able to, you know, keep the energy up and, and, and you know, be ready to go for Saturday. It's, it's, it's definitely huge. There's nothing worse than getting that loser's bracket and have to grind your way back through and burn through pitching. So, so we're in a good position. We just got to capitalize on it and, and make sure we finish. Yeah, you have uh, technically, coach. If you can just win two more in a row, you're a state champ. Right. You know, and I, I'd say it's fun to say that, and but at the same time, you know, I think our guys have learned from last year that you know you never get ahead of yourself, and until it's officially over, uh, we're not going to celebrate. And I guess you're kind of interested in the game that's just about to start between Grant, Grantsville and Juan Diego. Yeah, I mean, this will be a fun game to watch here. I think both teams have had great years. And, uh, you know, I, I have no idea who's going to come out on top of this. We'll, we'll see. We'll take a look at them. But we have a lot of respect for both programs. Jerry Beck, head coach of Desert Hills, as they get the kind of heart, heart-pounding heart 3-2 to victory over Pineview. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it. With Dylan File, the winning pitcher, and as it turns out, the game-winning RBI guy, too, for Desert Hills in that great 3-2 win over Pineview. Dylan, uh, I got to ask you, did, did you feel like maybe you didn't quite have your best stuff today? Because you gave up eight hits, I think it was. Um, yeah, I didn't really have my best, but um, you got to give them credit, though. They're a good team. Mm -hmm. um, they came out here not intimidated at all, expecting to win. And uh, they're a scrappy team. They'll do anything they can. So, yeah, I didn't have my best stuff, but you got to give them a lot of credit for it, too. Talk, I know you got hit, actually, on a, on, a, on a hard ground ball early in the game. Did that affect you at all? Um, I wouldn't say it affected me. I felt it all game, but I wouldn't say it affected me. No. You got a bruise? I probably. It's hurting right now. You haven't looked, huh? No. I don't want to. <laughs> That's good. We'll rub some dirt on it, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Talk a little bit about that home run, if you will. Uh, he got he got ahead in the count, 2-0 count. And I guess, you were you guessing fastball and thinking you were going to get one? Um, yeah. Uh, I played, I played club with Dakota this summer. Um, I know Dakota. I kind of know what he likes to do. Um, he got behind, what, 2-0? Yeah. And um, so I kind of knew a fastball was coming. I haven't been hitting very well, so I was just trying to keep a two-strike approach, keep it short. Um, just got fastball that I wanted, and he elevated it, and I put a good hit on it. That's, that's about it. Is that only your second home run of the year? That's my second home run of my life. Of your life? Wow. Life. Way to go. Very impressive and, and kind of in an important situation. Now, I'll ask you what I asked the coach, too, is uh, how important was it you guys, for you guys, and you're a senior veteran, you know, to stay in the winner's bracket because, as you know, I mean, Pineview's got to win like five straight games now if they want to win it. No, it's huge because um, that gives us, if we want to win this thing, gives us two games. Two games to win when they got to win five, like you said. And uh, honestly, I don't think any team here has the pitching to do that. 
So pitching is a huge part of this tournament, and if we would have lost that game, I don't think we'd. I don't think anyone has pitching to get through that loop bracket. It's tough. It's tough. That's for sure. All right, I got to ask you: uh, availability of Dylan File as a pitcher for the rest of this tournament, if if you're needed, if you're called upon, maybe if you guys had to play two or, or, or whatever on Saturday. No, nah, I'm good. You're good. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. All right. You heard it right here from the straight from the horse's mouth. Dylan, congratulations! Great win for you, man. Thank you. Appreciate it.